Okay, so welcome into today's video. It has been, I don't know, two or three weeks since I've been offline, since I've posted a video. I am definitely in a different setting today. I am downstairs up against my closet filming. Um, I had flown to California after I heard the news of my dad um, getting taken away from his home um, in an ambulance. Um, my dad was 86 years old. He was much older um, parent when he had me. We found out that he had stage four cancer. It was metastatic that had started on his kidney and had traveled through his spine, his, <laughs> my cat, um, one of his ribs and um, through his left shoulder. So it had been growing for about four years. Um, he didn't really communicate this with me. And um, so I flew back in a rush to California to visit him um, in the hospital and within 15 days he passed so I just returned home yesterday um, I am trying to get back to all things normal um, but as <laughs> the cat is moving the camera here let's let me say hi this is my little kitty his name is Sonic but for whatever reason we nicknamed him Squizzy because he makes little squizzy noises. Say hi. You want to say hi? You're the sweetest. Are you the sweetest baby in the whole world? I think you are. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Okay. Okay, goodbye. goodbye. So this has been the longest that I've gone without filming since I started my YouTube channel back in July. And kind of as part of my therapy or a distraction while I was there, I was shopping a lot, spending long hours in the hospital, with really nothing to do but be by my dad's side and there were many times that he was sleeping so I would just jump online and I was buying a lot of the new makeup releases and there have been quite a few new makeup releases recently so I have condensed it all down let me see if I can grab this box forget it <laughs> so I have gone through all the packages that arrived while I was gone and have condensed it down to a pretty decent size box but a couple of other smaller boxes so today I thought it would just be fun maybe a little bit of therapy for me to kind of go through and do a haul video of all the things that I picked up. I think this video is more for me than it is for anyone else. This has been really difficult for me. Um, I was really a daddy's girl very close with my father and because of COVID we hadn't seen him, me and my children, hadn't seen him in three years. So I'm definitely still in the shock phase of the grieving process. I don't think it's 100% hit me yet. Um, and while this is a video to help make me feel better, I still hope you enjoy it. So what I thought I'd do is just open all the packages, go through everything with you, show up close shots, of everything that I picked up and then swatch everything. Like we'll do some close-ups and we'll swatch everything because um, it was nice to come home to like all the things that I ordered and really just distracted me and took my mind off the of thing. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm gonna go through, um, some of these are new releases, some of these aren't new releases. This is Adept Cosmetics. They have a new launch that's coming out right now with a palette that is available for pre-order for shipping in November. but. Uh, I, I needed that kind of instant gratification, so I went on their website. I do have the Heather Austin palette from Adept Cosmetics, but that's the only one that I've tried from them, and they just have pretty miraculous shimmers, so I needed to get my hands on another palette, and as beautiful as that new release is, I did look and I saw this one. It's called Ninhydrin, and I wanted to get it, so I placed the order and I picked this up. It is a very beautiful like packaging. It's like this faux leather. I don't believe it's real leather with the stitching on the side. So it's pretty similar to their other packaging. Um, but this one just looked really beautiful. The like lettering here is like a duochrome. So it's very pretty. Like I said, the palette is called Ninhydrid. And here is the inside of the palette. They just have the most miraculous shimmers. They're so fantastic. They're definitely a chunkier formula, so you kind of have to like that, but I think they're great. I mean, they're not great for everyday wear, but they have a time and place and a purpose in my collection. So they don't have a lot of mattes in these. 
Uh, I've noticed that in, in the other palette as well, so I'm assuming that's kind of a theme for them, is that they mostly specialize in these shimmers, and so they will throw in some kind of complementary matte shades, but that's not really their like primary purpose for creating these palettes. So like I said before, I wanna swatch all of this stuff, play with all of it, get into the weeds with you, so let's just do it. I'm gonna swatch starting at the top row from left to right. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm just gonna swatch it on camera and I'll just kind of bring my arm up. I do have a mosquito bite here from California because I was sitting outside talking on the phone and they just got me. So this is one of the matte shades here. So even though mattes are not really like their forte, I would definitely say they're very pigmented and very creamy. That's almost like a purple shade. This is like a pink shimmer. This is a deeper pink shimmer. This is like a gold, look at that. It's incredible. Whoo! That has a shift to it for sure. This is the other brown, well, the other matte shade, and it's a brown tone. Not exactly my favorite swatch, but they're very, very creamy mattes, I have to say. So starting at the bottom row, this is like a blue-purple multi-chrome. Oh my gosh. This is a deep navy shimmer. Wow, these are just fantastic. Like I hope they're coming off as well as they seem. I'm gonna stretch that one out a little bit more. And the last three, this is like a magenta. Oh, it looks like a magenta, but it, that is purple on my arm. This is the shade I just swatched right here. It looks magenta. It, it's a really, really big shift. It, it's like magenta, but then it has a really deep, deep purple shift. Very interesting. And that has like a really green base, but a brown shift. And this last one is like um, a green yellow shimmer. So that is the palette swatched right there. Look at those shifts. Adept Cosmetics is crazy with their multi-chromes. So that's very pretty. Okay, so that was fun. I'm definitely gonna have fun playing with it. And I'll probably do like a trying new makeup video at some point or like dedicated videos for some of these. So those will be coming in the future as I kind of get the energy to start filming a little bit more frequently again. So the next one I have is the Giorgio Armani. This is a Neo Nude. This is a melting color bomb cheeks and eyes. So it's a cream blush. Um, I just, I don't know what made me want to pick this up. I guess I was just like, mm, more cream blush, what can I get? And I like Giorgio Armani products, so I picked this up. And I think that I'm really going to enjoy this. So here is the inside. It doesn't even look like a cream blush. Like I have a couple of these that I purchased that are cream blushes that look like a powder formula. All right, so here's the color. I'm gonna dig my finger into it now, so. Oh yeah, that's really strange. So here's kind of like what it looks like. It looked like a powder blush. It really did, didn't it? All right, let's swatch this bad boy. It's like an orange kind of brown shade. Oh, that's buttery. How many of those can I get out of that? Will you just keep going? Wow, that's one swatch. Oh, I have a feeling this is gonna be a really, really nice blush. So there is the swatches there. I really like this kind of rusty orange. Like as you can see, I'm kind of wearing that now. I'm wearing the Bare Minerals, like the Copper Kiss blush. So that's that one. Mm, I think I'm gonna like it. That was such an interesting texture, how it like looked like it was a powder because that's kind of how they printed it, but it was so soft. Oh, that was lovely. All right, so next I placed an order with Rowan. I um, I placed an order for two products, but before I left, this actually arrived. So I took one of the cream blushes with me and I'm just too lazy to get up now and go get it. So I have used it, so it's not gonna look like a brand new box. I won't be able to unpackage or unbox it. So here is the other product that I got, which is the 1111 eyeshadow palette. And I think it's just one of their, if I'm remembering this correctly, one of their cream palettes. And here is the sleeve that it comes in. Here is the packaging. Oh look, there I am. And here is the inside. So I'm pretty sure these are all cream shimmer shadows. And it's pretty expensive, so I, I know that there were other ones that weren't all shimmers, but I wanted to get like just one to try the formula and not spend a ton of money on like 
you know, a bunch of different eyeshadow palettes. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this from left to right, top to bottom. If this is a cream, this is a much harder formula than I kind of anticipated. I don't think that is a cream shade, but that is very, very beautiful, very shimmery. I could see that being great all over the lid. These ones feel more cream to me than the last one did. The last one was very chunky. And that one there is like, I don't know, a gunmetal gray almost. And then the pink one. These are so pretty. But they're definitely a stiffer formula. It's not what I expected. I expected them to be much creamier and like, I don't know, softer when I put my finger in, but they were not. Some of them didn't swatch like really long. Like this one kind of ran out. Disappointing. I have a feeling the quality on these is going to be really good and the lasting power will be really nice. It's just that these two kind of didn't swatch as, as well as the two up here in terms of pigmentation. But these look beautiful. This one right here all over the lid. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Okay, next. Mm, I picked up the L'Oreal Age Perfect. This is the 4-in-1 Tinted Balm infused with Firming Serum in the shade 20 Fair. I know this was a pretty recent launch, I think and a lot of people were really liking it, so I had to get my hands on it. It is in like a glass container. Oh, it already seems like it's kind of drying out in the middle. I don't know, you see that? It has like holes in it and it's like cracked. Hmm. It almost looks swatched. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me dip my finger into it. Oh no, it's definitely not been swatched. Now it has. But yeah, it looked like it was kind of drying out a little bit. So I don't know, we'll see. It feels like very oil-based and it feels, whoa, where'd it go? Okay, it's very smoothing. Like it feels oil-based, it feels super hydrating. It was very smoothing. Like it kind of seemed to just smooth out my imperfections a little bit, but look how oil-based it is. Like it's a very emollient, very creamy formula. So I'm excited to try this. Okay, another one from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Sale. I picked up one of the MAC Mineralized Blushes um, in Sweet Enough. That is the shade there. I'm not even sure. It's probably an orange shade, <laughs> knowing me. No, it's not. It's like a nude color. I love the Glow Play blushes. I also... I don't think I have any other powder blushes, or nor have I tried any powder blushes from MAC. Because I like the Glow Play blushes from MAC, I thought I would pick this up. So here is the inside. That just looks like a really awesome kind of like neutral color. Like who's not gonna like this? So here is the swatch. Yeah, super soft, not disappointing. Really good like full color, very good neutral color. I think this is gonna be a fantastic blush. I can't, honestly can't wait to get it on my cheeks. So there's that one. Okay, so next, if you've seen any of my, I don't know, I had the best of drugs for makeup and my cream blushes video, you know, that I really, really love my Cream Shop Cushion Blush. And I picked this up, I don't know why, I guess I was shopping on the Cream Shop, Creme Shop, I don't know why I'm calling it the Cream Shop. This is the Ready Set Glow Cushion Highlighter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, very excited for this. This is in Rose Gold Glow. So same compact as like the Cushion Blush. It's kind of like that chunky compact. Just like the other one, it comes with this little puffy thing that I never use, but it comes in there. And you open it up and that is the cushion. So let's pull this off. So it's like a very white little cushion for a rose gold shade. So let's dig our fingers into it. Hmm. That's like what comes off of my finger. So let's swatch this and see how rose gold it is. Okay, I don't know where the rose gold is coming into play here because this looks really, really white. Oh. Okay, I can see like a slight rose sheen. It's really hard on camera because it looks white because of the, the light. But in person, I can definitely see like the rosy tint to it. It's very pale, very pale pink. But it's very pretty. It's kind of like this lit from within glow. So it's going to be interesting to put on my cheeks. I'm not sure how I'll apply it. Probably with like a sponge. But that's the swatch there, so not as rosy as I guess I was expecting. 
but if it's like the blush, I'm gonna love it. Oh, okay, so I guess I picked up two things from the creme shop. This is the Toasty Cushion Bronzer. Of course I did. All right, here is the packaging. Oh, it's got a little piece of toast on it. How cute is that? All right, there is the inside. And let's go ahead. So much product in it compared to my blush. Okay. It is actually pretty warm. Um, and like I barely dipped my finger in there and that's how much I got. I, I could easily keep going. Like it has a lot of pigmentation to it, a really good base. It is pretty warm, but I'd say I don't know, not too warm. I don't know, it felt really, really good and I'm excited because I absolutely love the, I called it cream blush, but the liquid blush. So I think I'm gonna like both of those. So apparently I placed an order for three th things from the creme shop. This one is, what is this? Permanent Pop Sickle Loop, Loop, <laughs> Lip Juice Stain. Stains for 12 plus hours and it's in the shade Peach Please. So here's the packaging. Here is the packaging on this. It's so cute. All their stuff is just so cute. So I think they were pretty vibrant colors if I'm remembering correctly of this lip stain. And I just recently picked up a lip stain from Brianna that was kind of more orangey. So I thought I would place it for something that was a little bit more pink. So that is the stain. It definitely smells sweet. But wow, look how magenta that is. It's just kind of a fun color. Maybe not for fall, but I don't know. I don't know. I might wear it for fall, who the heck knows. All right, let's take it off and see how well it stains. <gasps> okay, this beats Fenty's Pout Sickle Lip Stain or whatever it's called. Look at this. I had that on for like 12 and a half seconds. <sighs> Honestly, this is way better than the Fenty Pout Sickle or whatever that is. Like. That stains, but then look at this. I'm gonna rub my hand raw trying to get this off. So I sorta of got it off, but it still has a decent stain on it. And like, it's all over my my little rag there. So um, this one, this one's gonna be a good one. I just think the Creme Shops products, like their quality is just so good. They do call this the permanent pout sickle. So um, yeah. All right, another one that I picked up from the drugstore. This is the Maybelline. I guess the Ultimate. And here is the packaging. I just thought it looked good. I haven't seen anyone talk about these and I haven't tried it, but I'm really into matte formulas and I thought this would be like a good shade for the fall. So let's just swatch this. Oh, it's so creamy. I love it. I knew that that's what it was gonna be like. It's just this like really creamy matte formula. And what it feels like is like the NARS Power Mattes, the new one, but actually more hydrating. It also feels like the Bite Lip Crayons that I love. Um, I don't know, really nice, really good color for fall, pretty inexpensive, so I'm gonna try that and see how I like it and how it compares to some of the other formulas that I had, have. Another not new product was the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. I've had my eye on this for so long, but it had been like out of stock in the shade, in my shade, for a really long time, and it's the Radiant Lifting, I feel like there was two different types or finishes. I could be wrong, but that's what I remember. And then every time I would go and look at like everywhere online, like Macy's or I don't even, I think Saks, maybe I looked and then Sephora, like they were always out in my shade. So this is the component. Um, I finally got my hands on it when it came back in stock. So it's not new by any means, but it's been something that I wanted to try. So there it is. It's pretty runny which is usually good for something more lightweight and more hydrating. But yeah, it's very like radiant, very creamy. Mm, that looks really nice and comfortable. Like I wanna put it on right now. I hear a lot of people talk about it, that it's a really good product. And yeah, when I saw that this was back in stock, I was like, well, you're coming home with me. Okay, so I got a ton of like samples. One of the orders that I placed came with it. I don't even remember which order at this point, but I got the Natasha Denona, the Hygiene Skin Glass Primer Serum. So I'm excited to try that because it's a fairly new release. And then I got the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour Undetectable. This is just the foundation, which I don't have the foundation. I only have the concealer. So I'll try this. I do like the concealer. 
Then they sent the Shiseido Urban Environment Sun Dual Care Oil-Free Hyaluronic Acid with Broad Spectrum. So I'll try that. I do like Shiseido products. And then I've had this, but I decluttered it. And I know now that a lot of people like it. And I think I decluttered it because I did not like the component and the application process. But this was the next Bear With Me Concealer Serum. So I will give it a shot again. Um, I don't know. It's really popular now, but I tried it before it actually got popular when it first released. And I was just like, ugh, like pumping it onto my hand. I don't know. I just really, really didn't like it so much so that I did get rid of it. Um, and then they sent the Boing, the Benefit Boing Concealer, so I'll try this too. Um, I don't know, I think that's kind of a hit, or miss, hit or miss product for some people. And then I got the Mason, I don't even know how to pronounce this, 724 Perfume. So I love getting perfume samplers. I love it because it's so much better than like buying the full thing and, I don't know, taking a risk. Then they sent the Lancome Absolute the soft cream. I'm not sure what this is. Maybe a moisturizer. So they sent that. And then they sent the Clarins Super Restorative Day and Night Nature's Retinol. So there's this. I'll try those. And then finally, it was the Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. I feel like this is also a new release from Huda Beauty's line. So I'm excited to try this. So a couple of those are new releases. I don't know. I just thought I would mention those. Okay, so moving on to some new holiday releases. I picked up the new NARS cheek palette and eye palette um, that launched for holiday 2022. So this looks like it's the Stargaze eyeshadow palette. I have never tried NARS eyeshadows. So when I saw this come out, I was like, all right, this is my chance to get a new release and to pick up and try NARS eyeshadow formula. So I'm very excited to try this and we'll swatch it on camera. So it's, I don't know, I think it's probably a little bit different than the like pinky tones or the overall pinky tones that NARS usually goes with. There's kind of a lot of like neutrals in the top row and throwing this very like violet or I should, why am I calling it violet? This is like a lilac purple I thought was interesting in this palette. So let's go ahead and let's just swatch this bad boy. I will start again from left to right, top to bottom. I'm not exactly sure what to make of that first initial shimmer. Here it is. It's so soft, like really, really soft. It's not chunky at all. And it seems to have like dra drug out pretty far, like have really good pigmentation. It was just kind of not what I was expecting when I put my finger in it. So I don't know, seems like it would be nice. Wow, that matte really, really went far and very creamy and the swatch was very, very nice. This next one here was actually much chunkier than this shimmer here. This was like a soft shimmer and this one has like a lot more like chunkiness to it. Wow, these are swatching great. I can definitely see why NARS eyeshadows are like highly rated. Here is another matte. I probably didn't do the best at like swatching this one as I did the other one, but it's very, very creamy. Next, this is like a dark brown, very warm toned. This next one is another shimmer, but it's again, one of those chunky shimmers like um, this one right here. And this one is just beautiful. Look at it. But yeah, very chunky shimmer. This is that lilac shade, but it was very powdery in the pan. See, these are pulling like very, very brown. And then it's like boop, a pop of color. This one is a very, very chunky purple, deep purple shimmer. They're all swatching great though. Here is a deep chocolate brown. Very nice swatch. These all swatch very, very well. This next one looks like a deep purple matte, but very hard to tell. Could be brown. All right, focus. Could be brown. Hmm. This is a like chunky red pink shimmer. And finally, like a deep maroon matte. Here is it swatched. So overall, very brown, purple, pink. That's what I'm getting from this. It is so interesting. This first one here was such a creamy shade, but these other ones are very chunky, but they have a tack to them. They feel like they're very, very sticky shimmers. So they would stay on the eyelid extremely well. That's what they feel like. They would 
really have good staying power. So I'm excited to try this. I'm really, really excited. Haven't tried anything NARS. Now my cat's attacking the stuff on the floor. And after swatching this, I'm like 10 times more excited to get this on my eyes than I initially was. Okay, so to go along with that, I also picked up the NARS, and what do they call this? The Rising Star Cheek Palette. So after touching those shadows, now I'm just super thrilled to try this as well. Um, I believe this is a baked formula in all of these colors. That is the outer packaging. And here is the inside. This is like a hot pink, but it has a purple base to it. This almost seems like it could be a highlighter. Like it is definitely more pink in person and it looks more, I don't know, champagne colored when I'm looking in the viewfinder. But this is such a great variety of colors that would really complement many, many different skin tones. And that's very exciting to me. This can go as like a topper or a highlighter. These can be used on fair skin. These can be used on deeper skin tones. And that one, I don't know, maybe a hybrid used for both. I just like the inclusivity with this. I think that they came out with just the one Rising Star Cheek Palette. So because there wasn't like two and one light and then one medium, it's nice that they had a really, really good variety of like depths to these so you can use these for many different skin tones because, you know, some of them, they release one palette and it's like, well, you know, that's not working for everybody. So I'm excited. Let's swatch these. Again, I'll do the same thing, left to right, top to bottom. Very creamy when you put your finger into it. So that is the first one that I said could be used as like a highlighter. It's just a very light, light blush. Here's that next shade swatched. So very, very nice, like cool tone pink. Here's that like purple shade. I call it purple because it definitely has like a purple in there, but it's like a purple base, but it's still pink. Here is that like very neutral pink. I, I'm telling you, I love the variety in this palette. It's just like, it just will, so many different skin tones can use this palette. I would use every one of these. I don't look at any one of these except maybe this really, really deep one in the corner and go like, mm, I'm not gonna use those. So like for this palette and the variety that you're getting and this baked NARS quality or what appears to be like really good quality, I have used their blushes before and I am a fan of NARS blushes. So like, I don't think any of them were baked. I just think they were powder blushes, the ones that I tried, but I, I loved them. So I can't imagine that they wouldn't do a good job on their baked formula. So this is the deep burgundy shade here. So that's probably the only one that I could see like not using on my cheeks, maybe with a really, really light hand, but I could use it like on my eyes. I couldn't see why not. I feel like you could get an entire look on your eyes with this palette if you wanted to. I don't think there's anything preventing you from using these on your eyes that wouldn't be safe, um, so far as I can tell. But wow, the swatching was great. The pigmentation is awesome. I feel like it's gonna have great lasting power just based on like the swatches and like how they're kind of staining my fingers. Um, look at this maroon shade, really, really stained my finger. So I feel like it's gonna have really good staying power. I'm just really excited. And then they sent this Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. This is just like a, you know, the, I don't know, try on one. I've already used like the try on ones where it comes with the like two and you get one that's curl and one that's lengthen. But I also have the full size already, so it's not really something that I needed, but they sent it free with one of my orders. So I had my eye on this for a while. This is the Item Beauty. This is the blush in like cream blush. And when I saw it in stores, I was like, this is cream blush. This doesn't look like cream blush. And then I almost picked it up and then I had been grappling with it, like adding it to my cart and taking it out about a million times because I don't know, I wasn't sure about it and I have so many blushes in my collection, but you know, given the circumstances, I was doing a lot of shopping and it, it ended up <laughs> making it to my house. So here's the outer carton. It has this And here is the component. It's actually quite cute and simple, but here is the inside of it. Let me get a little bit closer. So this is why I say like, it didn't seem like an actual cream product because it has this like powdery imprint, but it's very similar to the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude. Um, and this one is in the shade It's Verified. So it definitely like has like an orangeness to it, but it leans more like neutral? I don't know. It looks more orange in the viewfinder than I think it does in person, but let's go ahead and swatch it. So it doesn't really feel like cream blush. 
it feels less like cream blush than the Neo New did. It definitely feels powdery, but there is a similar blush that I have in my collection that's, it's a mousse blush and it's from She Glam that seems like a very, very similar texture. So it didn't go as far as the Neo Nude from Giorgio Armani, but I would say that this is relatively similar formula, relatively similar feel, even color. <laughs> That's just kind of a preference thing, but 10 times less expensive. So there is a swatch there. I'm, I'm definitely excited to try this. Like I said, it definitely feels like that mousse blush that I have from She Glam. Okay, so back to the new releases. I also picked up the new Rose Metal palette from ABH. Honestly, in watching people's videos of this palette, this outer carton is very, very different than what it looked like in other people's videos. It looked... Like this is like sparkly and pretty. Like, and I don't know if that's coming off that way in, in the camera. It just looks like dirty, but in person, it's very shiny and sparkly. And here is the packaging. It's, it's a little strange. Like it's this faux leather material, but it's almost like marbleized or spider webbed. Looks like it could be a couch. And here is the color story. I mean, honestly, I think I've seen videos where people say, like, this color story looks very different in person than it looked like in a lot of the pictures that came out before it released. And, I mean, that's totally true. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna parrot the same thing that I've, that I've heard, is that it is very different um, from what I had in my mind seeing the photos before it released. And here it's like, yeah, there's some warm tones and cool tones, but, like, it goes pretty light to pretty dark. I mean, I think I saw one person say they'd even want this matte to be darker. Um, I just, I disagree with that. I think it goes pretty light to pretty dark. It's very grungy, but it also has these warm, I mean, yeah, warm tones that you can get a warm toned look, like fall look out of it that's not as grungy. And then these two are pretty light. So you could even do a pretty light look if you wanted. I don't know. I like this color story and I'm a fan of ABH shadows so I didn't pick up the last one the new Niveau or whatever it was called and I probably will I don't know why I didn't but I think this color story I don't know maybe it just grabbed me a little bit more can't tell you what I was thinking except shopping so let's go ahead and swatch it I'm going to do the same thing from left to right so this one is like wow they're chunky just like all ABH shadows like very powdery and my finger is still stained from the NARS palette, but whatever. Um, this is almost like a, a satin. Like you could see some of it fell off, but look how creamy and beautiful that looks. I don't know, like a burgundy shimmer. Just look at that pigmentation. Wow. Holy cow, that's super chunky. I don't know, this is like the copper shimmer. Look at that. That is a good shimmer. I mean, it's very like powdery. There's a lot of fallout, but there always is with ABH shadows. But the one thing with ABH shadows is even if they are chunky like this and there's like a lot of fallout, the application is great. They blend themselves most of the time. And not only that, what I look for in a lot of shadows is the longevity. It's great when they have great pigmentation, but how long are they really gonna last in my eyes? I have some that just fade away, just naturally, really quickly. And that irritates me because I'm someone who doesn't like to reapply my makeup. That's just how I am. So ABH shadows I find last a good amount of time. And that's one of the reasons that that part of their quality really gets me, it really impresses me. So this is like that orange shade I was saying was very warm toned and this is the matte that was next to it very warm toned again very powdery <sighs> this one is i don't know like a, a green yeah like a green shimmer this is that pearl champagne pearly shimmer i love that it's not as chunky as the other ones it was more smooth when applying it sorry about my bug bite this one is a brown shimmer, like a deep brown. Man, these are so rich. This is like a light brown. The shade is called Ashes. I would definitely say it's not gray. Like Ashes gives me that. The name Ashes gives me the impression that it would be like more of a gray tone, but it's, it's cool. It's just brown. 
And that's a warm brown matte. I don't even know what color to call that. I don't know, there's a green base to it. And this is a matte that's like, I don't know, it had a weird texture when I stuck my finger into it. So this is definitely fall vibes in my opinion. Like, you have mostly warm tones. Yeah, mostly warm tones. Like, there's there's some cool tones, but, but not really. Maybe <laughs> two or three. So, grungy fall vibes. That's what I'm getting with this, but everything swatched really nice. So again, another one I'm excited to get on my eyes. Okay, so next I think we'll go through another holiday release. This is one of the Tarte releases, I wasn't going to pick up anything. Like, I think I did a new makeup releases video and I was like, meh, no. And then I saw someone get it. I think it was Jen Phelps. And then, like, I saw her swatch it. All right, so my battery just died. But anyway, so I definitely saw Jen Phelps say that the quality on these were really good. And so then I was like, well, then I'm getting it too. So it is the Gilded Glamour Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Wardrobe. So it is a holiday release and there's two palettes inside. So historically with Tarte shadows, I have not been a fan. I have had Tarte shadows in the past and I have decluttered them because they're just not my favorite in comparison to a lot of other brands. And there's quite a bit out there that do a pretty good job. But um, when I heard that the quality may have been different than my past experiences, I definitely wanted to pick it up. I am hesitant with the Amazonian clays, however, because even the blushes, though they have been very popular, those blushes have not been my favorite. I feel like they were too hard pressed. I didn't pick up a lot and I have a lot of long wearing blushes that I think outperformed those. So while those were extremely popular, they weren't for me. So that was just my personal preference. I have touched these already. So there are some fingerprints on them. This is one of the palettes. The outside packaging is very nice on these. And here is the color story. This color story is pretty much like right up my alley. It has like a lot of light shimmers that I really like, but you can also build quite a bit of depth with this. And there are quite a bit of like pinky tones, but also oranges. So it's a pretty, like I would say overall kind of warm toned palette, which is what I prefer. Like I like warm toned shadows. So I don't know. I just thought that this was really nice. I know that it's not like revolutionary and Tarte does a lot of like neutral looking or neutral leaning palettes, but still that is my jams. Yeah, see these shimmers just already feel different than the previous ones that I've had. So very, very nice. Even the mattes feel different. There is that one. Yeah, these mattes feel like they have like kind of a, a chunky layer on the top of them. And that skipped a little bit. But the last palette that I had I don't think it was an old palette because I think it was a fairly new release and it could have been like a bad palette, but I, I had more than one and I just did not, did, did it not, I just did not like the quality. So, I mean, I can tell that these shimmers feel very different than the, the shimmers that I had in the other palette. And I mean, these mattes have such like an, an a chunky imprint on them that just by touching them, they feel different. I'll have to see how they perform in comparison to the other palettes that I palettes that I had. This is like a burgundy shimmer. I mean, they're all swatching very nice. This next one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick up because it's a really light shade. Oh, well, there's that. It's good to have a kind of white or cream matte in your palette. I like these next three. One, two. Wow. This gold one felt really good. This one right here. This one is like a satin brown. Barely running out of arm. I love this shimmer here. Here is basically the first two rows. So very warm. Very warm. But this was kind of like the pinky section of the palette and it looks brown. And that's kind of the warm toned. So I'll start swatching on this hand and see how well my swatches come out left handed. This one looks like a fun shimmer. I am obviously right handed, so left swatching is going to be a little bit more difficult for me. But here is, here is the full palette. It's just overall very warm, but I really do like this color story. So again, definitely excited to test out the formula in comparison with the other Tarte quality 
shadows that I had before and how unimpressed I was at that point, hoping that I am more impressed with this quality. Okay, so I want to say that we're like close to being done with the eyeshadow palettes, but it was kind of a big eyeshadow palette haul, to be honest. So this is the second one. This is Glamour, whereas the one that we went through before was called Gilded, I guess. So here is the outer packaging for this. This is a very, very different color story. More colors than I'm used to for kind of Tarte. You get your greens, your purples, your blues, and then you still have your neutrals. And I love these light shimmers in here, so let's get to swatching. I'm starting to like stain my arm, so hopefully you can see these okay. This one is like, I don't know, like a, it's a blue, but not like a deep blue, but like a light blue, I guess. Here's a dark mat. Some of these mats are, I don't know, they're a little bit harder to swatch. It's kind of what I found with Amazonian clay formula, that it was sometimes could be a little bit patchy and didn't have the greatest pigmentation to it. The shimmers just weren't as impactful. They just were, I don't know, not as good as some of the other quality shadows that I've tried, so. That's why I'm hoping that these are a little bit better. So I don't know, this is almost like duochrome-y. It's like a purpley brown. And this is a deep purple matte. See, again, kind of patchy on the swatch. Like, I want it to go. That's not necessarily like what's gonna indicate the best performance or poor performance, poor performance if it's not gonna go the whole length, but sometimes it can. This is a very, very light shade like the last one, so I'm not going to get too much of a swatch on it. This is another light brown, so very pale. I'm digging my finger pretty hard into these, and it felt very, very creamy. Silver shimmer. Again, very, very creamy. Like a deep blue. I love this. This is a deep blue matte well, that buttery they're kind of hard and they're hard pressed this is a champagne this is like a green like gunmetally color it's, it's like a taupe or like a copper forest green I think this is supposed to be a black so there is the whole palette swatched I love this. I think it's a duochrome. But yeah, you can see that some of the mattes have a more difficult time swatching than the shimmers. The shimmers felt great, but that is that swatch there. All right, I'm going to take a brief pause from eyeshadows for like half a second. So this one here, I don't know, I guess I got this with the MAC Mineralized Blush Purchase. That's my son. And this looks like Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. Okay, so it's a foundation powder, and it's just in this, like, plastic samples. Jeez, it's my brain right now. And you open it up, and it has the powder on this side and, like, a puff on the other. That's so weird that it comes with, like, a little puff. But it does. And so here is the powder foundation. I don't, I don't really know what to think of this. It looks more like a setting powder to me. I mean, it's very soft, but I feel like I would use that as like a setting powder. I will give it a shot. I also picked up, and this is a new release, Amethyst PH Lip Balm from Winky Lux. And I wasn't going to get this. Um, it looked really good, like on the new release photos. And I just thought, oh, that's kind of gimmicky. Well, I did a lot of shopping of said, stu said stuff I said I wasn't going to get. So it looks like a little bullet. It does have like one little like flat edge, but yeah, like a pill, like a little pill. Now I do like Winky Lux products, so I'm usually not disappointed. Here is the lip product. It is so cool. I just, I love when it's sparkly. I don't know why that gets me. So let's go ahead and just watch this and see what it looks like. So it's pretty clear and it has like a pinkish purple base to it. But of course, because it's pH, it should change with like the warmth of my lips. So let's, let's put it on. Okay, I took off the lip 
I think it was the Revlon something that I had on. Ah, okay. It's creamy and the glitters inside are not like too chunky. I have a couple where the glitters are really chunky and it actually kind of hurts when you put it on your lips and I don't like that. One of those was like the Pat McGrath ones that were released for holiday probably two years ago. But it's definitely like turning a little bit pink. It feels really good. It's very hydrating. It feels nice. Okay, so next up I picked up a NYX eyeshadow palette and with that order I placed I put in the cart the NYX Smooth Whip Matte Lip Cream. So I don't know why it made me pick this up. This is in the shade Teddy Fluff. I guess I just kind of wanted to try it. And I have tried NYX like lip creams before. This is not like new or new to me, but I thought I would get this shade specifically for like fall. So that is the shade there. I think it will feel nice. And I think it's a good shade for fall. So what else can you do? So with that NYX order, I placed the NYX, I think this is, what is this? The Ultimate Queen Eyeshadow Palette. So this won Allure Best of Beauty for Drugstore Eyeshadow Palettes for 2022. So that's what made me pick it up because I have never tried a NYX eyeshadow in my life. And I thought, okay, well, if this won Best Drugstore, it's gotta be pretty good. So I placed the order and got this and it wasn't that expensive. Here's the color story, great for fall, very neutral, some pinky tones. Um, but overall very neutral kind of warm toned palette. So let's just do the same thing and we'll swatch this. And I'll try and do it a little bit faster. Well, that one was a little bit chunky. Shimmers don't feel like super impactful. They feel pretty like creamy and like smooth shimmers. All right, so here is the palette swatched. I mean, I have to be honest, it wasn't that great at swatching. I couldn't pull the mattes all the way down. Um, again, that's not a true indication of their performance, but this black, holy cow, it was much more black than I thought it was gonna pull. It was one of like the best pulling matte shadows, to be honest. And some of the shimmers were okay. They weren't the greatest. I have to say it felt like a drugstore palette in terms of quality. So I'm not initially blown away by the swatches of this, but it could be very different when I get it on my eyes. It just seemed like a pretty boring swatched palette, to be honest. So we'll see how it performs. Okay, I am gonna swatch at one more palette and then I'll probably move on to some other things because I do have a couple more palettes. I told you I used this as like retail therapy straight up. So. There were a lot of things that I purchased, so hopefully there's not too much judgment. So I picked up the Jungle Lights palette from Flower Beauty. I have the other one here, what that one was called, something lights, but not Jungle Lights, Sahara Lights or something like that. But I, I knew that I loved it so much that I wanted to pick up the other one. I just hadn't done it. And honestly, I thought that this one was gonna be too dark, but it's not. This is like a very, very light shade. In fact, this is a much lighter shade than is in the other palette as far as the lightest shades go. So I'm really, really excited to have this. These are an all-time favorite drugstore shimmer of mine. I don't think there is any drugstore shimmer that does it better. So knowing that I love these so much and then swatching the NYX was kind of like, that one won Allura Best of Beauty. Okay, I don't know. I feel like there are other ones that I probably would have picked over that one having felt the way that it swatched, but look at that. So good, barely tapping into these. Look at that. It's just amazing. Honestly, best drugstore shimmers created ever. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong and be right about it. <laughs> Look at that. Holy smokes. Look at that. Look at that. I literally could probably drag these all the way down my arm if I tried. The dark purple. I'm expecting great things. Okay. This is like a light lavender, light purple. How chunky and delicious. 
You could like eat it. It's like pie. All right, that is it swatched. You can see how like absolutely chunky this is. But like how great is that for drugstore or semi-drugstore? Just more inexpensive. I have shimmers that perform like this that are like $14 a piece. But I mean, how can you beat this? It's just so good. Flower Beauty, mwah. Amazing, amazing job, Drew. There were three more free things that came with my order. So um, I did get with purchase, I guess this is the Hate Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. I don't think I saw good reviews on this. Can you edit me out? No, I'm keeping you in. Huh? And my husband is creeping in the room. Sorry. I'm gonna turn the camera on you. No, bye. So it is in the shade light. It seems like a pretty runny formula, but I am gonna give this a shot, like for sure, to see how it looks. It looks pretty yellow. I mean, for light. Think it'll work? Actually, it probably will. It'll be just fine. It's quite like sheer. But yeah, it feels good. I mean, it feels hydrating. I'm gonna definitely try it. Okay, and then I got the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer potion. I, I've had this before. Oh, it's very different. Like the other one has like a doe foot applicator in like the bigger size, but this one, um, it's a squeezy tube. So it's just a mini and I just threw out my other one because I had used it all up. So now I have another one. <clears throat> and I really do like that for a lighter primer. And then I got the Urban Decay Vice lipstick. This is a high impact lipstick and this is matte. I believe yeah it's in the matte formula in back talk i quite like urban decay lip products so i'm excited that they sent this for free that's the packaging it's plastic so it's not like the like metal that you you get with like the normal size but um it really seems like a good shade let me put this down but yeah just a really kind of like neutral matte and, and i love all of their formulas i love their matte oh I just think Urban Decay does a really good job with their lip products. The only one that I didn't love, love was like the new Lip Bond, but I have their creams, I have their High Shine, I have one other matte one, and I really, really like it. I think that it's it's creamy, it's not as matte as some of my other mattes, but um, it's very comfortable and beautiful color, beautiful. So I got all of, I guess all of, I just meant two of those free things with my purchase of the new Urban Decay Naked Palette with robin eisenberg and the carton and palette were um illustrated by robin eisenberg who is an artist and she said she was inspired by the colors of california so interesting that i was just there it is honestly like such a beautiful palette in person if it translates then that would be fantastic but otherwise it's just some beautiful artwork to be to be honest it's like very shiny and shimmery. The naked is raised. It's it's just quite nice to look at. It, I said this in my new Makeup Releases Monday video that Urban Decay Naked Palettes haven't knocked me off my socks, but that I thought this color story was fantastic and that I was going to pick it up. So on launch day, I did get this. And it looked in the illustration very different quality for Urban Decay Naked shadows and like I have a couple they just aren't the best quality and I think they've been outdone by a lot of other um like brands honestly at this point so it comes with a brush and it's clear like a clear brush in the middle and it's dual ended so I do like that and I will use it um so let's go ahead and swatch this oh so that actually has a lot more pigmentation to it than the other white creams that I was swatching in like the Tarte and the NYX it's quite a powdery formula, but if you can tell, the swatches are going so much longer than the NYX ones were. I would expect Urban Decay to have better quality shadows than NYX. This is an interesting shade. It's like a duochrome. It's like a light pink, but it also has like a peach shift to it. It's quite nice. And all of these are swatching beautifully. It's, it's quite surprising. I'm not, not a fan of Urban Decay. I just think that in terms of quality, it's kind of middle of the road, deep brown. 
And one of the things that I said that I liked about this color story was that I think they did a good job with the gradient on each of the shades. I really liked that. And I did see some people say, hey, I wish they had like a, a deeper matte blue. I, I don't I don't think so. I think they did just fine. I think you can put a shimmer in your outer corner and be perfectly okay. That periwinkle blue is very nice. This almost feels like a duochrome, like a purple. I'm not gonna say it's not hard to get my finger in these pans, but I do have big fingers. So I think this is quite a nice gradient. There's some variety in these where this leans more purple and that's more blue and a darker blue in this periwinkle. And here's your kind of red browns and then your like lighter neutrals. I like this color story. I think having the blues is very different for Urban Decay in a naked palette especially, but I quite like this. I think they did a good job. I love the packaging. I think this swatched better than the NYX and it swatched better than some of the Tarte ones. <sighs> so I am really excited to give this palette a shot. Okay, if you're getting tired of eye so eyeshadow swatches, I promise we are nearing the end, but there is two more. Um, so I have an order here from Kaleidos because they had two new releases. Well, they had a release a new release and it came with a set of eyeshadow palettes along with eyeliners but I didn't pick up the eyeliners because I just won't wear them. So here were the cartons for the two eyeshadow palettes and they're very similar to their last launch which was like cold brew and then something else I couldn't remember. It was like the black and gray one. So here is the packaging on these. So this is a very similar like style packaging but this is very different. This is like the like velour and the other one like had a lace covering and one of the complaints from people was that nowhere on the actual packaging did it have the name of the palette. So they did include this time a sticker. So this one is called Glowing Iris. Here's the outside and here's the color story. It's a very cool toned purple. Oh, so beautiful. And then this one is called Flowing Haze. Let me take out the insert there. And it is a cool tone with like that pop of purple shimmer here. We'll do this one first and I'll do the same thing from left to right, top to bottom. Again, this one is in Flowing Haze. They are so buttery soft. You have to be careful with the shimmers because it almost feels like you would depress them. Look at that. Look at that. It is gorgeous. Sorry for all the background noise. It is what it is. I think this is a purple. It's very powdery. Yeah, it's like a very cool toned dusty purple. So that is the color story there. Let's move on into this one, which is the cool toned all purple palette. Very, very bright, vibrant, vibrant, <laughs> vibrant purple. The shimmer seems very similar to this one, but it's a lighter purple. Yeah, it has more silver in it than this one does. So creamy. So very cool toned purple on that one. This is more brown toned, but they're both purple palettes. So very, very nice. Okay, let's go over some Charlotte Tilbury new launches. So I picked up one of the new face palettes or cheek palettes rather in the Pillow Talk Fair to Medium. So here is the outer carton. I have never tried any Charlotte Tilbury like face palettes or like dedicated cheek palettes before. I have one of her blushes, but I don't. And I have that one highlighter that released that has kind of a similar packaging, but it wasn't my absolute favorite. And I think that was just powder, a powder formula, not a um, baked formula like this is. Here is the outer packaging. I know I showed it just a second ago, but I'm going to do a close up. And then here is the inside, a soft blush a super glow, a super blush, a multi glow. Anyway, that is the soft blush. There is that. I mean, they're quite nice though. This is the multi glow and this is the super cheek. So there is it swatched. I like it. I like it. There's variety. What it looks like is a lighter blush, a darker blush, a lighter highlighter, and a darker highlighter. 
or like a champagne highlighter and a pink highlighter. I mean, that's basically what it looks like to me. So it's quite nice. It's swatched quite nice. I really dug my finger in there flat to get these swatches to drag out, but they did. So I'm actually quite impressed with this. I guess I underestimated how much I picked up. So hopefully you're still hanging in there with me. So there were two um, other things that I got in the same order. They were the hypnotizing pop shots. So they are like single shadows for your eyes. And here is the outer carton for these. I picked up two shades. It's quite unlike me to place an order for a new release and to go in for like maybe more than one product, but you know, one, one product of, of one type of thing. But I did pick up two shades cause I was feeling like I needed to. The packaging on these is exquisite. I, th I swear I'm gonna like lose these little rhinestones cause I think that's what they are pretty quickly and I'll try not to. But this one is the one that I said was Lover's Diamond. And I think this one is the more bronzy Tonia. I own zero Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows, so no idea what to expect. Wow, that was really, really nice. Again, kind of one of those that I could feel that I could drag out a couple of times probably, but it is quite nice. And this next one is in Sunlit Diamond. I think they had a blue one that was like definitely enticing, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get, if I'm gonna spend $34 for a single shadow, it's gonna be something that I'm gonna wear on a more everyday basis. So let's swatch this. I'm not disappointed in how these feel at all. I mean, it's very expensive, but they're very beautiful. They swatch well, they're very creamy. Okay, so two more blush products. I got the Blush Balm Soft Focus Cream Blush from Morphe. I have not tried very many things from Morphe and, and definitely never a blush or a bronzer from them. So I saw this and it was cream and I love cream. So I decided to place the order. Here is the packaging. It's definitely a smaller component than I thought it was gonna be. I think I got a pretty like berry toned. This is in the shade Mighty Mauve. Okay, so it's a mauve color, but it looks, looks a little dark for a mauve if you ask me, but who am I? What do I know? Here is the swatch. Swatch is definitely more sheer than it looked on my finger. So that's the swatch there. Let's let's blend it in a little bit and see how it does. Okay, so it shears out quite a lot. And it and it gives like a radiance. I'm excited to try this. How many times have I said that? I'm excited to try everything. All right, another cheek product I picked up was the Cheek Freak. This is the blush balm. It's another blush balm. This is from About Face. I already have one. I love it so much. I wanted another color. The other one's almost like a peach where this is like a really true burnt orange. So I love this. And even though they call this a blush balm, it's, it's so, it's so emollient, so creamy, has such good like pigmentation behind it. And even though it feels very creamy and like ointment based, it has a lot more pigmentation. Like once you actually put it on, it's just so good. It's such a good formula. Like the swatch doesn't do it any justice. It is really, really a tremendous blush. All right, so let's move on to the last eyeshadow palette. This is the new launch from Huda Beauty. This is the Empowered palette. So that is the outside carton. It looks digital. And here is the outer packaging. Again, very like digital space but eyes in the background. So not sure exactly what her mindset was when she created this, but it says empowered. Again, just looks very digital. And here is the inside color story. So gold, warm toned peaches, purples, and some cool toned grays. I was never gonna pass this up. Color story aside, I love these, um, these eyeshadow palettes that she makes in this packaging and in this size. They are, in my opinion, are quite superb. Um, I love every single one of them. I love every single color story. I don't care if they're repetitive. I'm a huge Huda Beauty eyeshadow fan. So once I saw that this was being released, it was coming home with me one way or the other, like regardless of color story or like, hey, this is repetitive or this just, you know, doesn't vibe with me. It was gonna come home anyway because I think the quality is great. So we do have to swatch these. Um, I'm gonna try and get it all on one arm. So this is a black, I think this is a liner and not a shadow, a gel liner hybrid. 
So there's some definitely like some different textures in here. I think one of these is like water activated. I could be totally wrong, but yeah, like this gel liner, look, it's just so black. Man, these shimmers are fantastic. It's the first like purple shimmer. It's like a foil. It's literally like a foil. So it's like wet and coming off. Deep, deep chocolate brown. I have to get these closer together or I'm gonna run out of room again. I'm gonna swatch that here. Coming out very brown. This is another one of those like really chunky shimmers. Look, these are so chunky, they're falling apart. They're like, oh my God, they're like wet. Look at how I'm swatching these. So chunky, so great though. This is that like brown gel liner. I hope I can get these all on my arm. I will do my very best because I didn't start off super strong. This is that marbleized shade. So you see the like purple and orange it has in it. Okay, so there's the palette. Overall, a very, very brown and orange toned. Like the golds even lean brown. So I don't know, I think it's great. I love all of this. I think it was perfect for the fall. I think it was a great color story launch for the fall for sure. So that is it right there. I have a feeling it's gonna stain my arm pretty good. Okay, so there are three more things here. I got this and I'm not sure why. This is Tres Luce Beauty Ready to Bounce Cream Blush. Oh, that's why, because it's a cream blush, of course. This is in the shade Out the Door. So it's like a, an orange or peachy shade. I don't, I don't, have never tried anything from this brand. Aside from it being a cream blush, not sure what compelled me. Again, it has kind of that like, like you can see an imprint in it that makes it look powder and not cream. So it's very similar to the other two. And that's what it looks like when I stick my finger in it. I have a lot of sparkles on my hands, so I'm sorry. But those three blushes are very, very similar in color and in texture and formula. I don't know, it just happened that way. It wasn't like I was trying. I was just, guess I was going for cream, new cream blushes, but it felt fantastic. I don't know what else they make. I don't think I've seen any of their other products. Definitely not enough to stand out to me. <sighs> Shall I say it again? I'm excited to get this on my face. Right, last two products. So I picked up another Paint It Matte Lip Color from About Face. I was on the fence um, on, like in one of my videos when I was going over my other matte lip color from About Face and I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but then I put it on and I topped it with a gloss and I have to say like, I totally turned around my feelings about it. I ended up loving it so much, not only in the shade, but like how it felt on my lips underneath the gloss and, and it stayed for so long. So it ended up, changing my mind about my initial feelings that it was too dry once I figured out how to use it, so much so that I placed another order and this is in the shade Baby's Arms. There is the packaging and here is the swatch. So it's super pigmented, it's super creamy, it goes on, it dries down. Yes, it will crack out your lips if you don't top it with something, but the staying power underneath a gloss is just tremendous. And again, it took me a minute to figure out like how to use this. I had to like let it dry down all the way and then top it. And I, I love it. I love this shade. I think it was great for fall. So. so the final product that I picked up is the Juvia's Place. What is this? The Liquid Eyeshadow, Culture Liquid Eyeshadow. And this is in the shade Fula, I think is how you pronounce it. So I think this won Allure Best of Beauty for 2022 for like drugstore liquid eyeshadows. I could be wrong, I don't know. I heard somebody talking about it and I love Ju Juvia's Place eye products. So I was like, yeah, we're getting this. A light, shimmery, glittery shadow with that much pigmentation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, we're buying it. So it is just a doe foot applicator. I have swatched this once. Look at that. Hello. It's fantastic. Like it is so good. Look at that. The shift on it, the pigmentation. Oh, mm, so good. 
So that is officially everything that I ordered while I was away. I know it was a lot. If you're still here with me, thanks for hanging on. I hope you enjoyed today's haul. I hope it was a little bit of therapy like it was for me when I bought them. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope tonight you go and hug all of your children and your parents and you tell them how much you love them and how much you appreciate them and that you never let a minute pass without feeling grateful for the time that you have and remembering the importance that they have in your life and the void they would create if they weren't around. I'm gonna read you something I wrote. When I went to California, I stayed in a lot of Airbnbs because I wasn't really sure, you know, my family came and I didn't really wanna be in a hotel. I just kinda of wanted my private space and to be able to wash my clothes. And they had this guest book at the last Airbnb that I stayed at. And uh, I thought twice about writing this, but in the end, I decided to write it and I felt that it was tasteful enough to leave it in this guest book. So it had a space for you to write your name and then any comments. So I wrote my name was Carrie and I said, I will probably never forget this place. I raced home to be with my dad, Larry, for his final weeks. He loved Humboldt. 1 20 36 to 9 5 22. I lost my dad at 37 years old. Please go hug your parents and children right now. You never know how much time is left. His story was long, but ours wasn't long enough. And that's all I wrote. So if you still have your parents alive or your children around, call them, tell them you love them. That is my message for this evening. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.